Yo, what's up, guys? This is Aprix here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we'll be finding out which is the best Nintendo Switch emulator for Android. Skyline Edge or Skyline Emulator So as you know Skyline Edge basically has some early features which will eventually be rolled out into Skyline Emulator When the Skyline Edge was released it was very controversial because lot of people were like why are you charging us money for just early access feature even though the emulator is open source but nonetheless if you want to support the developers of Skyline Emulator you had the ability to try out Skyline Edge and get some early features As you may know in my recent videos we tested out Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild which even worked on the normal version of Skyline Emulator with decent FPS and that got me thinking should you purchase the Skyline Edge subscription now or just use the regular version of Skyline Emulator and that's what led me to creating this video where I'll be testing out Pokemon Sword and also Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild now both of these games are not completely stable on the Skyline Emulator and if we talk about small titles like Let's Go Pikachu in both Skyline Edge and Skyline Emulator you will get similar FPS if we talk about Resident Evil then same goes with that but if we test out some heavy games such as Pokemon Sword or Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I thought we might get some good results if Skyline Edge provides better FPS and also more stability and less graphical issues. That's what I wanted to check out. Let's start with our test. At the left side you will see Skyline Emulator running Pokemon Sword. At the right side you will see Skyline Edge running Pokemon Sword. Be sure to note that this game is being tested on the same device which is Xiaomi 11D Pro and you will see the FPS in both Skyline Emulator as well as Skyline Edge is quite similar. My device has Snapdragon 888 processor, 8 GB of RAM. With that being considered and also the fact that I am using the latest FTX1 branch build of normal Skyline Emulator as well as latest Skyline Edge version which is 30.5, you will notice that there isn't any big noticeable improvement in terms of Skyline Edge. I am pretty sure that when Texture Manager will get worked on and uh, be released in a build, Skyline Edge will get that earlier and in that build we'll see noticeable changes. But also as you know all the features present in the Skyline Edge version eventually roll out to the normal version of Skyline Emulator in about 2 weeks or so. You can see that at least in Pokemon Sword the differences are very minimal. Now let's move on towards our second game which as I mentioned is the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You'll notice that this game is also running well on both the versions of Skyline Emulator. Again left side is for Skyline Emulator, right side is for Skyline Edge. You'll see that the emulation is not at full speed. It's barely reaching like 10 to 20 fps mark and there are similar graphical glitches and bugs present in both versions of Skyline Emulator. Now let's talk about the conclusion in terms of comparison of Skyline Edge and Skyline Emulator. Is Skyline Edge better than Skyline Emulator? Yep, it is better because it has few early features but is it noticeable? Is it life changing? At least for now the answer has to be no. But don't get me wrong, Skyline Edge is a great way to support the developers of Skyline Emulator who spend hours of their day working on an open source emulator. The differences right now may not be huge, but I am pretty sure that Skyline Edge may give better FPS on Mali GPU devices and uh, as you may remember when the first build of Skyline Edge was released, it was a big deal because the first release had major improvements and it has won up over the normal Skyline emulator because it had few new titles playable such as Pokemon Sword and Shield and other games. But now the difference is very minimal. So if you want to save your money, then just keep on uh, checking out the latest FTX1 builds of normal version of Skyline Emulator. If you want to support the developers, also get to try out some early access features which may not be that noticeable, then you can definitely go with Skyline Edge and, and I am sure that we might get a major Skyline Edge update very soon in future. But for now, in the latest build of normal Skyline Emulator as well as Skyline Edge, there are no major differences. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on all notifications because I bring similar videos on my channel and I'll keep you guys up to date with all the latest emulation news. See you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.